Certainly. D1 program where both the fellows and the ladies are spotless. Home whites for Duke, road reds for NC State. Duke won in Raleigh earlier this year. There was no Diamond Johnson for State. That will also be the case tonight. Their point guard is out with an injury. Well, right away, NC State trying to attack that Duke pressure. Now they're going to be up the line, hard hedge on ball screen action. NC State's going to have to be able to make some shots. Don't rely a whole lot on the three ball. They've been good off the dribble. Here's Jada Boyd. Shot clock winding down, not loose. One possession and one shot clock violation. And there you see Diamond Johnson. Not just the numbers, Debbie, but the handle, which is going to be a huge loss against the press. I mean, Diamond is a one-player press breaker, and others are going to have to be able to handle James. We'll get the start at the point, but Saniya Rivers, who is available to play tonight, will get some time at the point as well. There's a look at the Duke starting five. Very well-balanced attack. The steal for Isaiah James, and then a whistle and a foul will go against the Blue Devils. As you know how many NC State people have told me how much they enjoy watching Isaiah James play? That she brings a certain level of energy for Westmore. And she's going to need all of that tonight. She might have to go 35 minutes in this game. That was the first foul on Reagan Richardson. And there you see James into the starting lineup because she's been lights out the last couple of games, including a career-high 20 points in her first start against Virginia Tech last weekend. Here's Cheyenne Day Wilson, the sophomore from Toronto. And along with Taylor, a terrific backcourt duo. If I was Duke, I would try to attack Isaiah James on the defensive end because that is their primary ball handler tonight. And if you can get deeper into NC State's bench, they only have eight available. I think that would be to their advantage. Madison Hayes swatted out of bounds by Richardson. So Beth, when you go against Duke, you have to have what I call the pressure package in, including shot fakes, ball fakes, Dribble entries, high post entries, things that allow you to get into your offense. NC State struggled getting into their offense against Duke the first time. Knocked out of bounds as Jordan Oliver has checked into the ball game. The junior out of Prosper, Texas. There you see Kara Lawson. It's year number three and certainly on the short list for Coach of the Year honors with the job that she has done at Duke. A 23-win campaign after they finished in 10th place in the ACC a year ago. They have a shot at getting all the way back to the top for the first time since 2013. She said her players handle hard. They handle coaching hard. They work hard. They handle the scout report hard. The fade for Celeste Taylor, and here comes the pressure. NC State doesn't like to bring two to the ball in the backcourt, so they like to try to initiate their offense here with James. Knocked down. That's what you call a high, hard, big, fat hedge. High hands. Boyd fades and hits. They're going to need their seniors to show up tonight to have a chance. Well, they definitely should have some confidence coming into the building. They were the regular season and tournament champs a year ago, and they are right now looking at probably an eight or a nine seed, an eight or a ninth place finish this year. Oh, what, what a run. Pass. Boy, good find by James. If you can score quickly in your transition game, that would be excellent for NC State to have this early lead. Duke is pretty good in their transition defense. That time they make a mistake. That's the energy of Isaiah James that I'm talking about, Beth. She sees the floor. In and out, Oliver with the stick back. Westmore urging NC State to push it up the floor. James will stop and pop. 
Taylor with the rebound and the run out. I think Westmore will be okay with a quick shot. It's got to be the right person taking a quick shot. And Taylor may have been better served to shoot it right there. They'll keep it. Watch how quickly NC State gets up the floor. And Jada Boyd runs ahead of the basketball. She just flat out beats Kennedy Brown down the court. That's that speed of Jada Boyd in the open floor. Three ball is good. Elizabeth Balagoon, the senior. She had 16 in the win earlier this year, back in December over NC State. This is the 87th all-time meeting. NC State with a 10-game advantage in the win column. Hobby, two feet in the paint. Double team comes, she spins away from it. Oliver quickly to Day Wilson, off the hesitation. Drops it off for Oliver and too many footsteps. Here comes a double team. Oh, you got numbers, you got to attack. Absolutely, you got to look for that shot. Good decision by Hobby. Camille able to bank it in, a one-point game. Multiple looks defensively out of Duke all game long. Right now, James going under all that screening action with Cheyenne Day Wilson, and she makes a pay that time, trying to get over the top. That's big for Duke. Cheyenne, her numbers are up in ACC play, but not over the last couple of weeks. So they're looking to get her back on track. Boyd, that won't go. Day Wilson will reset. Neither side fouls a whole lot. Not many whistles to start this one out. Taylor off the cross. With box out, and here comes James. Running with Hayes, and Madison will scoop it up and in. NC State getting some easy buckets on some runouts off their defense. Looks like Wes wants them to try and beat that Duke defense up the floor. Before they get set, Carol Lawson will call every set. That's why you'll see hesitation by the point guards to turn around and look and see what she wants. NC State icing all those ball screens, trying to keep the ball on the same side of the floor. A couple early turnovers and a 9-8 Duke lead over NC State. A three seed could be playing Maryland in the Sweet 16. All good stuff. And certainly fodder for a lot to talk about with the Pac-12 getting a pair of one seeds. Yeah. As NC State scores out of the timeout and one. Good backdoor by NC State. Yeah, I, I don't, I'm, I'm curious about the committee's review of Maryland, and they have four top ten wins. I don't understand why they would be six. I actually thought they were had a chance to be a one seed. But Virginia Tech as the highest seeded team in the ACC speaks to how well Kenny Brooks' team is playing right now. He's got two of the best players by position in the league. Georgia Amor at the point, Elizabeth Kitley in the post. There is the latest bracketology from Charlie Cream. He will have another adjustment tomorrow after all the games tonight. But you see, Notre Dame, Virginia Tech, and Duke right now would be slated to host first and second round action. North Carolina and Florida State on the host bubble. You want to try and be a top four seed. So they would, uh, they would need some wins. Of course, Louisville and NC State also with a chance a deep run in the ACC tournament could change things a lot. Right now, nine ACC teams, including Syracuse, Debbie, which would tie the record for most teams from a single conference. Well, it certainly merits what the league has done all year in terms of competition and level of play. And as anticipated since October, this could be the deepest the league has ever been. Yeah. 11 on NC State over Duke right now. The Blue Devils need a win 
tonight to keep pace and tied for first place with Notre Dame. A win tonight also would give them a chance against North Carolina on Sunday to at least share a regular season championship for the first time in 10 years. Here's NC State trying to beat the press. James, oh, nice step back between the legs and drops the 15-footer. There you go, Isaiah James. How about that ball fake, shot fake, then create separation off the bounce. Very well done. Mia Heidi is in the ball game. And she's gonna be called for her second personal foul. This one offensive. This is just a good job right here by James. Duke late on the closeout in transition and she pulls it back and sticks it with that lefty jumper. NC State's made four of their last five field goals. A lot of layups. Look at that, the last two games. 19 PPG against Carolina and Tech, over 50% shooting. Always a terrific number for a guard. You gotta cut to the ball. Sonia Rivers now in the ball game. She missed the last game with a, an eye injury. NC State doing a much better job handling ball pressure against Duke than the previous game, which Duke won over in Reynolds. Hobby spins baseline. Good help in the dig down by Taylor. Ashlyn Jackson pull up three. Got it. Freshman from Texas, a prep All-American. Hobby walks. So that's back-to-back -back turnovers for State. I mean, as soon as Hobby puts it down twice, here comes Celeste Taylor. On the bounce, they bring the double. How about Jackson with the quick trigger? So far, the turnover's even at four apiece. Final minute and a half of this first quarter. At least they've been dead ball turnovers with a couple of travels, so it doesn't give the other team a chance to break. I guess that's a that's positive. Better of the, <laughs> the better of the negative. Vanessa De Jesus. Shot clock's down to five. Taylor, oh, got an open look. Jackson tracks down the loose ball in another possession, final minute. Swing it all the way around to the left corner, open three, no good. Corisdale, and now Rivers, this is her game. And a trip to the line coming. She's special on the open floor. You gotta referee the defense here, I say it all the time. Did she obtain legal guarding position in the official's mind? No. Yeah, I don't think so. I think that's an excellent call. Tanaya just a 53% free throw shooter. Knocks down the first. Tuesday night's doubleheader on ACC Network and the ESPN app starts in Charlottesville. Virginia and Clemson at seven, then Virginia Tech Louisville at nine. Tuesday night men's basketball on the ACC Network. That is a huge game for Clemson. Oof. They're on the bubble right now on the men's side. And Virginia coming off a loss. The pick, the roll, the foul. Well executed by Duke. One of the strengths for the Blue Devils all year long has been their play off the bench. 24 points per game. Dale will try and put a couple up with that bench scoring. I mean, this is a terrific job right here. Screen right on the elbow. Good delivery by Taylor. Made free throws allows them to set up the press. Here comes the trap, James. Good ball fake, three on one, keeps it herself. Tipped up, second chance no good. And Duke immediately says, hold for the final shot. When you get a three on one, you have to get points. Yep.
Brown to Jesus. James ices it. Good if it goes. First quarter in the books here at Cameron Indoor. NC State with the one point lead over Duke. Gatorade Fit. Fitness starts from the inside. With only North Carolina left on the schedule on Sunday. NC State hoping to play spoiler. They can finish anywhere from sixth to ninth place in the regular season down the stretch here, their final game against Pittsburgh. And then it's off to the ACC tournament less than a week away now, Debbie, where NC State will try and join Notre Dame, North Carolina, and Duke as the only programs to ever win four in a row. It's pretty remarkable when you think about the runs that all those programs had, and NC State is in position this year for such a run in the tournament. That's why we love the ACC tournament. 46th tournament coming up starting on Wednesday. You know, I'm really surprised that NC State has been able to find some long outlets against Duke's defense. Must be something they saw on film. Got a foul on the shot, Reagan Richardson. The transfer from Georgia will head to the stripe. Foul on Madison Hayes. Well, the Ally ACC Women's Basketball Tournament begins Wednesday at Greensboro Coliseum with every matchup with the championship game right here on ACC Network and the ESPN app. First round coverage begins at 12.30 Eastern with the Nothing But Net crew. And then the finals a week from Sunday, 1 Eastern on ESPN. Last year was NC State over the seven seed Miami, the lowest seeded team to ever reach the finals. What a run they made last yeah. year. Destiny Hart hit a triple in the corner to upset Louisville. One of the shots, best shots in the history of the tournament. Rivers short on the three. Of course, from the Duke perspective, if they do grab the one seed, Debbie, the number one seed is 125 of 45. ACC tournament crowns. That's 55% of the time it's gone to the one seed. You know what, this year about the tournament and about the teams in the ACC, I don't think there's anyone opposite the bracket that anyone's going to be afraid of. You know, like it's there, there are so many good teams. If you have depth, that's going to help you, but the balance of the league has been outstanding all year. Jeffrey Smith, Meadow Overstreet, and John Capolino want to review it back in a moment. So they both played for the legendary Naismith Hall of Famer, Vivian Stringer. Yeah. Always had good defenses at Rutgers. Oh, yeah. And Iowa, which is where those yeah. two played for Vivian. Well, Duke is 13-3 and three in the league. Those three losses, opponents scored over 60 points as they get the triple from Balagoon. But the other 13 ACC games, they held foes under 60. They have the third best scoring defense in the country this year. It's pace, it's defense. It's how they dictate. They take you deep into the shot clock. Even Virginia Tech, who's a very good offensive team, had three shot clock violations in the first half of the game they played up in Blacksburg. This is really good execution. Right down the lane line. Well. I thought it was good execution, but there were two players over there in the corner for Duke. <laughs> Still, they hit the three. They got it. Pretty good. And a three-point advantage. In a slow-scoring game. Yes. That's going to be a walk on NC State. We did jokingly reference the temperature outside a very hot, muggy February day. Temperatures were in the 80s here today. It is hot inside Cameron tonight as the temperature has not dropped a whole lot outside and it's high inside. Something to keep in mind as we uh, head deeper into the game. The other thing too is Duke can really push you out. So the quality of your catch is not good and then you get late into the shot clock and you, you gotta have the right people 
making plays, and that's when you don't have a natural point guard. Under 10 on the shot clock, you have someone that would take control out there, and Westmore doesn't have Diamond Johnson available for this game. She wasn't available the first time they played Duke. Day Wilson uses the screen, steps back for three. That's a much better decision right there by Cheyenne Day Wilson. They have more triples than two-pointers here in the first half. Four for nine from downtown. Mid-range rivers, no. And here comes Duke again with Day Wilson. Gets into the paint. Held ball will go to NC State. While well, Duke has made four triples, NC State is 0 for 4. NC State's been going underneath that ball screen action, so all Carol Lawson's offense does is set the screen a little bit lower, and that allows Cheyenne Day Wilson more time to get organized to make that three. You see the numbers better in league play, but the last five games, she has not been shooting it well. So far tonight, five points on 50% shooting. Hey, Westmore wants his team to, you know, pick up the cadence a little bit offensively because they are getting too deep into the shot clock. NC State so far has just six baskets through the first 14 minutes. James. Scooped up and in. Jakia Brown-Turner with the good hustle to keep the play alive. It's a great play. NC State sending one or one and a half to the glass. They're more worried about getting back and setting their defense and crashing the boards. Jakia Brown-Turner makes herself available. Short corner, Balagoon got it. Assist Taylor. And Duke. Now up by six. Kennedy Brown really fighting Camille Hobby to get to that screen. Boyd gets into the lane and a foul on Balagoon. That was clearly a foul. That will be her first. So Boyd to the line, 83% on the season. I'm all about protecting the shooter. There's contact there, and she moves her arms forward. They don't stay vertical. That's what the official saw. Jada gets a pair. Richardson to the cup, and a trip to the line. That will be a foul on Boyd. That's a foul. Her Duke, first. Duke really doing a good job of taking up the space right here, running through their D. I mean, running through their sets. Hey, tomorrow night we've got our featured women's lacrosse matchup. Number one, North Carolina and Virginia Tech. Coverage begins at 7 Eastern right here on ACC Net and the ESPN app. South Carolina, by the way, pulling away now from Tennessee. As, uh, they will uh, look to go 28 and 0. A lot of low scoring yeah. games. Stanford, how about surviving against Colorado in double overtime tonight? The NCAA tournament should be a lot of fun too, should Debbie. Should be great. Yes. Parity around the nation. Duke doing an excellent job of taking NC State again deep into the shot clock, right? 
Boyd on the drive and a foul. That'll be on Kennedy Brown. Jada Boyd, first. Jada Boyd doing a really good job last couple of possessions of drawing some fouls on Duke. Getting to the free throw line, trying to get some easy points. Really, NC State's points have come from their transition game and from the free throw line. They still haven't made a three, but they haven't missed a free throw. Boyd now four for four, and she is into double digits with 10. Balagoon leading the way for Duke with eight here in the first half. Beth, I think if you told Wes Moore that it might be a two or a three possession game at the break, I think he'd take that. Yeah. Eight players available to play. Shorter bench, no Diamond Johnson against a pressure team. Taylor, Boyd denies her the baseline. Right to Corusdale. Not a whole lot of second chance opportunities for either side so far in this first half. Richardson had to jack, didn't hit the rim. Still bouncing around and Taylor picks it up and puts it in. NC State had a hand on it three times, but couldn't grab it. And now they'll turn it over. Richardson into the lane. Oh, what a pass. Brown Turner, no, bothered by Taylor and missed it. Taken away by NC State and another missed layup by Brown Turner and a foul. That sequence right there is the ultimate frustration yep. for Jakea Brown Turner this season. You can just see it on her face and on her body language. But this is what I like, the response right here. She looks up and says, come on, let's go. That's what NC State needs, somebody that can help give them a lift. Richardson looking for the pick and roll. And Duke gives it right back. Boy, there was a lot of physical contact on that exchange. Rivers, we push her to the left side. She gets it into Boyd. Brown Turner for three, and the left-hander nails it. You could almost see the shift between frustration to putting her hands together and clapping, now being wide open to knock down a triple for Jakea Brown Turner. Taylor. Kicks it out, Balagoon, wide open look, short. And NC State, a chance to tie it back up or grab a lead. Two and a half to play here in the first half. Brown Turner, off the bounce, good. All even. There's some fight in the pack right now. Taylor tries to go coast to coast, stripped by Boyd. Numbers for State. Rivers on the run, Collins, and it's blocked by Taylor. One of the top candidates for Defensive yep. Player of the Year. And it is plays like that that go on a highlight reel for a player like Celeste Taylor for the kind of hustle that she brings to the Duke defense. Great recovery to get back and allow Duke, uh, Duke to set their D. NC State needs to really execute here the last two minutes.
Collins rattles it in, and NC State back on top. Taylor to Brown. And a trip to the line for Kennedy. Really good seal and transition by Kennedy Brown. Good pass away from the D, right to the corner of the backboard. At 6-6, Kennedy Brown is a lot for NC State to handle inside. And uh, River Baldwin's going to come in at 6-5 for the Wolfpack, really the only size they have. Second foul on Jada Boyd, so she will probably check out here for the remainder of the half. And Brown hits on the first. Kennedy 76% for the transfer from Oregon State, her first year at Duke. Blue Devils have hit the portal the last couple of seasons. 11 transfers, seven play. You got a ball fake, Celeste Taylor. She's going for everything. I might set up a play right here to go right at her defensively because she's jumping and that's what you call high risk, high reward kind of play. Rivers, and now River Baldwin gets inside. The step through, muscled it up off glass, no. De Jesus with the push. Balagoon, nice drop off for Brown, lefty land. Isaiah James finds Baldwin in the trail, got it. How about River Baldwin getting it high off the glass? Balagoon, 15 footer, knocks it down. All of a sudden, both teams are scoring the lids off the basket. Oh. Offense is showing up. Final half minute. River Baldwin, no. Taylor able to get the rebound and a foul on NC State. NC State's just got to do a better job of attacking that high, hard hedge. Twenty point six to go, and Taylor to the line, a 65% shooter. Really the engine that drives this yeah. Blue Devil team. Let's see if that maybe ends up being a good foul for NC State, right? Because now they're going to get possession of the ball back. Shot clock off. Of course, from the Duke perspective, they've got a smaller, quicker lineup in there looking for a, a pick to get another possession. Almost got it. Celeste Taylor, are there two of them out there? Are there two Celeste Taylors out there? there. <laughs> you know the Cameron Crazies appreciate that kind of hustle. They make it really tough in here to run your stuff because you can't hear. Final seconds of the half. Collins will hoist. Duke will have the lead heading into the locker room, 33 to 30. Trying to keep pace with Notre Dame in first place, heading into the final weekend of the ACC regular season. Now to the studio, Taylor, Muffet, Kelly, and Lexi. There you see over the last 10 years, NC State is looking to join Notre Dame, Duke, and North Carolina as four-time winners in a row of the ACC tournament. Louisville and Notre Dame dominating when they joined the conference and then NC State striking back. Duke's last regular season crown 10 years ago. 2013, can they match it this season? 
Got Kara Lawson, a contender for Coach of the Year. Celeste Taylor, contender for Defensive Player of the Year honors. The NCAA Selection Committee reveal was tonight. South Carolina, Indiana, Stanford, and Utah were the number one seeds. Here's Camille Hobby, scores inside for NC State. That's really good action by NC State. It's either the Iverson or the floppy action, whichever one you might want to call it. And then you get Jakia Brown-Turner going down the left side of the lane with her left hand. Good find and good finish. Now we haven't seen this set out of Duke. They go to that scissors action. Taylor for three. That won't go. James with the rebound. I'll tell you what, Isaiah James has done a pretty good job handling the point, except for I spoke too soon. That probably wasn't the yeah. right read. Right here, this is a little up screen by Jakia Brown Turner. Look, clears out that lane, and then as soon as the post player helps up. Camille Hobby makes herself available for a drop down pass. Jakia Brown Turner, see she's icing Richardson, keeping her on the same side of the floor. Good D. Boyd has the weak side rebound. Well, the way the pace of the game has gone, it's NC State can play with eight, yeah. right? They don't have the depth that Duke does. Usually really good bench support for the Blue Devils. Carol Lawson has not. Three ball won't go. Abby in the trail. Here's Boyd, another possession. Taken away by Taylor. Celeste Taylor. We called her name out a bunch of times tonight for her extra effort. Remember, she was on the Elite Eight te team at Texas yeah. for Vic Schaefer his first year. Bay Wilson gets to the left side, down the lane, no. Balagoon puts it back up and in. She's flirting with a double-double. Ten point, uh, 12 points, nine rebounds. James step back, and it's been one-on-one -on -one here the last few possessions for NC State. Quick shots. You see, that, that might be fatigue by James right there because that shot was flat. And she's going to get a break right now. Sonia Rivers is going to check in. NC State has their hands on their hips. They might be getting a little fatigued. I thought the pace was okay for them, but it is hot in here. Balagoon off the bounce, blocked. weapon if Kennedy Brown can consistently make that play. That's 6-6 six, six in the shoot from about 17. Largest lead now for Duke. Threatening to open things up here early in the second half. Hobby. Got it. Good pass. Good relocation on the perimeter by your post player. And NC State making a play on balance in the paint. Day Wilson, step back. Brown, boards. Kennedy Brown, in and out. NC State doing a good job of playing behind and contesting and not fouling there. Rivers, oh, nice fake. change of direction. <laughs> NC State's not going away. Back to within three. They'll sag off of Day Wilson. 
Back to Taylor from Brown and a foul. Tania Rivers fakes the dribble handoff here. It's just a great take. Smart play. Second foul on Brown Turner. And an excellent backdoor feed by Kennedy Brown to Celeste Taylor. This is one area where Celeste is going to need to be better because she does draw a lot of fouls. Only 65% on the season. She had her season high in the first matchup. Yeah, at NC State, 23 points. And she drew seven fouls yeah. in that game. Rivers had it knocked loose. What you want to do here, Beth, is, you know, NC State's the underdog coming in here, right? You want to keep some game pressure on Duke. Got to keep it close. Old ball will stay at this end. Substitution is Heidi, comes on for Kennedy Brown. Six points for Kennedy in her 20 minutes. Rivers. Taylor on the run, got it. Good find by Day Wilson. Tough pass for Hobby to handle. It's knocked out of bounds by Duke. Under five to go here in the third. Six point lead. Duke on the run. Cheyenne Day Wilson advanced to Taylor. Bucket Celeste Taylor for her, her hard work. I think I can do it. I'm going to test that out. I, one could put day. The, I could put that cape on and get on that surfboard. 42 36, Duke with the lead over NC State, under five to go here in the third. Elizabeth Balagoon leading the way with her third double double. She's got 12 points and 11 boards. Richardson, no good on the shot. Duke will keep possession. Both sides were looking for a foul wow. on that collision. A lot of contact. On the inbound, Cora Stair got it. Well executed, out of bounds yeah. play. America's play. Everybody runs that. Biggest lead now for Duke. NC State needs a really good possession here offensively. Five on the shot clock. Collins for three. One for eight from downtown tonight for NC State. Rivers gets a block. Richardson, defender went underneath. She pops. Yeah, Kara Lawson just dialing up shots right now for whoever she wants. She's distributing the offense very well. 8-0 run for Duke. Timeout, NC State, as the lead is now in the double digits. Here we go, Billy. Swing hard, buddy. So now can the Wolfpack respond to their largest deficit? Right now, the Blue Devils trying to work on a season sweep of NC State. The Balagoon's got the double-double. Jada Boyd's 11 leads NC State. Hey, Beth, you know what I'm thinking that? Like, Celeste Taylor must, I mean, does she lead the ACC in deflections? Does Mikasa Robinson at Louisville? Oh, that's another good. I mean, like those defender. are two really good defenders inside the ACC. 
as it is right now, that could be a potential semifinal showdown. Louisville's getting better. Don't anybody yeah. be sleeping on the Cardinals. You gotta win again tonight. Another late shot clock. See, all this is really lack of a natural point guard. Just three field goals in this quarter for NC State zone. Wes Moore switching it up defensively. I think it's a good move. Got a rebound out of it. Last tuck by NC State. There you see Diamond Johnson out for the second game in a row. Heidi. Didn't need the dribble there, but draws the foul anyways. That'll be on Mimi Collins, her first. And tomorrow night we have our featured women's lacrosse matchup. It's number one, North Carolina taking on Virginia Tech. Coverage begins at 7 Eastern on ACC Net and your ESPN app. Duke threatening to bust this one wide open. Two and a half to go here in the third. Outscoring NC State 16 to six now in the quarter. And the Wolfpack scoreless for three and a half minutes. It's gonna be a foul on Heidi out top. That's really the first time in the game that NC State's been able to draw a foul on that hedge. You know, that's the way Duke defended NC State the first time they played. I went back and watched some of that game this morning. Rivers probes the baseline. Brown Turner, a couple of ball fakes, got it. Really good job. Ball fake, then ball fake again, use the bounce for separation. Now NC State's got to get a stop out of their zone. Taylor trying to shoot over the top of the two, three, and does. Six triple of the ball game for Duke. Rivers fouled on the drive. Good take, stop the clock. Trying to get a couple of free throws. Right in the slot, exactly where you're supposed to be versus the zone. Taylor not always known as a three-point threat, certainly someone you have to defend out there. That's her 36th three of the season. Sanaya knocks down the first. I think Westmore stays in the zone. Yeah, see what happens. A little full court pressure back in the zone. Is that what you always do after made free throws? Well, they gotta try and shake things up somehow. Try and fight their way back into this. Taylor. And now Oliver up top. They're actually back in their man-to-man. -man. And right now, nobody's guarding Corsdale. James finds her. She might have been in the zone. Five on the shot. And the steal for Rivers. Final minute, back to a 10-point game. Really important here, two for one opportunity for Duke. If they can score twice. Taylor leaves it off for Heidi and it rolls over the front of the rim.
Baldwin uses the bank. And now one last shot for Duke. NC State switching. Oliver to Jackson for three. And a blocking foul going to be called on Taylor. And Rivers will have some free throws. Yeah. Right? Let's see. Nope. Oh, no. They're Not going yet. off. Yep. That's just the fourth team foul. Is that right? Yes. Yep. Well, I'm blocked by the Elena Beard jersey to see that part <laughs> of the, in the uh, rafters. <laughs> <laughs> Recent Hall of Famer here at Duke. And it's a 10-point game. Can State fight back into it, or does Duke stay in first place? Rivers with the pick and the run out. season championship for the first time in 10 years. It would also get them the number one seed in the ACC tournament. I can't wait for Greensboro. It's going to be amazing this year. We're going to have a good time. It's going to be very competitive. Yeah, all the action leading up to the finals will be on ACC Network starting on Wednesday. And one. In transition, the bucket for Richardson. Third foul on Brown Turner. I mean, the long rebound in the transition up the floor. Pressure off the make. I think NC State has just taken too long to get into their stuff, right? I mean, Duke's defense just keeps pushing them out. Quality of the catch has definitely been affected all night. No good on the drive. It hasn't really been the turnovers and points off of. It's just been taking them out of their rhythm. Exactly. Deeper into the shot clock, deeper into their options, and without a natural point guard. Rivers on the run with James, but James did not cut to the rim. And you see Wes Moore saying, hey, get an angle to the bucket there to get on the receiving end of the Rivers pass. Jada Boyd's been a little bit quiet here in the second half. See if they can get her going. Oh, just loses the handle. Good fake. Balagoon gives Duke its biggest lead. It's up to 15. <laughs> NC State. There is time. NC State has not shot the three well, but if you play the percentages, it's not how many you make, it's when you make them. They are just one of 10 so far tonight. And they've only gotten to the free throw line twice in this second half. I mean, you're, you're supposed to have freedom of movement right there. You can't be tagging them on a cut. And they will call the foul. Trying to defend on Hobby. That'll be on Kennedy Brown, her second. This is an opportunity right here, situational offense, to get a bucket. And instead, they turn it over. And a frustrating second half for Jada after she had 11 in the first half, scoreless here in the second. I think this is when the uh, fatigue factor starts to set in for NC State, right? Not as much depth. The heat in the building, it's almost like they cranked it up. But it's very hot here in the Durham area and Raleigh area today, 80-plus 80, 80 degrees. 
uncommon for February. Balagoon gets him another possession. Oliver. See, this is where they got to accelerate through their stuff. It's just taking them too long, but you know, it, it's a it's a challenge for NC State without having a, a natural point guard on the floor. Rivers. Brown has it. See, that's a straight line drive to the front of the rim. Hayes gets inside. When you got 6'6", six, six, coming with a long closeout, that's the right decision to drive it. Trying to keep him on the same side of the floor. So that was an opportunity to go back door with that clear out. There's the back There's door. There's the back door, and Rivers reads it and strips. The over penetration. She's got to kick it back out. One for 11 now, NC State from three point range. Richardson lost her footing. Numbers. <laughs> NC State has had some possessions here, just not able to execute in this fourth quarter to. Put some pressure on Duke. Well, and when's the last time you saw a Westmore team with 46 points, right? It's been a while. They only scored 58 against Duke the first time. Only three teams in ACC play have scored over 60 against this Duke defense. Boyd and one. Jada Boyd with a cross up, crossover, gets to the paint. Her first basket of the second half. Fouls on Corsdale. That's the first free throw that NC State's missed. One for 10 on the night. Back door, Taylor. It's all back door right now for Duke. You can see fatigue set in for NC State. Shots become a little bit flatter. Taylor with the leak out. Blue Devils making all the hustle plays here in the second half. Timeout, NC State. And the Wolfpack are frustrated as Duke has taken over. <laughs> the way for the Blue Devils, she's got 15 points, five rebounds, four assists. And leading the charge defensively as well. Good backdoor cut for the lay-in. And it's all Duke here in the second you half. You know what, Celeste Taylor's the kind of player that you hate to go against, but you love as a teammate. Because she gives you everything she has. She is locked in from the jump. She plays both sides. Well, we've talked about defensive player of the year, but if you're of the uh, Belief, best player on the best team is also an MVP candidate, player of the year candidate in the ACC. Who else is in that race? Well, 
I think you got to look at Kitley and Amor. Yes, you for sure. You got to look at Olivia, Miles, and Citron. Yep. All those teams near the top of the standings in the ACC. Side and a miss. Heidi's second chance blocked by Collins. Rivers knocked out of bounds by Taylor. NC State trying to make a last push right here. Remember, they were down 10 with four minutes to go against North Carolina and came back. This is 15. Brown Turner way outside for three and nails it. Now, can you get three stops in a row and three scores, and then you put that kind of game pressure on Duke that we would have been talking about? Oh, quick on the shot. And Day Wilson gives NC State a chance. Rivers for three. Back to back and one. Chance for a four point play. Making a little run. Back to back threes. Remember, it's not how many, it's when. Got her on the follow through and Rivers to the line. NC State makes this free throw. They're going to press, so you can't get beat over the top if that happens, and she makes the free throw. Let's see if Westmore stays in that man-to-man -man or if he considers a change defensively. NC State gets it back into single digits. 3.45 to go. No Cheyenne Day Wilson here to Execute. He just came out after that last foul and that shot. NC State really bringing the energy right here defensively. Two on the shot clock. And they had to jack it up. And a shot clock violation for the NC State defense. I think that's the first time NC State's gotten a shot clock violation. Here comes a little pressure now. You start to feel a little heat if you're Duke. Need a win to stay tied for first. A loss would drop them a game behind Notre Dame with only one left to play. Pack have hit five of their last seven shots. And an offensive foul off the ball on NC State. Wow. No, On no. the run, Balagoon. Oh. Almost she traveled. traveled with it. Taylor for three on the inbound. That's a big one. Dagger for Celeste ends an 8-0 run for NC State. Celeste Taylor definitely likes playing against the Wolfpack. As you mentioned, 23 points in the last meeting. She's got 18 tonight. Off of NC State, Duke ball. I mean, this is a big one right here. Late on a closeout. Hey, every Thursday at 10 Eastern, right after our women's basketball doubleheader, the Nothing But Net crew will break down the night in the ACC with highlights and analysis of every women's game right here on ACC Network and the ESPN app. That is coming up next. Taylor, welcome to the Nothing But Net ladies' night. Celeste Taylor continues to run an impressive show for Duke. 
her fifth assist. Boyd, fouled on the drive. Good fight in NC State. This is a team that, going down the stretch, they've got Pitt left at home on senior night. Then they'll get ready to head to Greensboro, a place where Jada Boyd and Jakia Brown-Turner have never lost. Three straight ACC tournament titles. This crew of seniors has never lost in this building either. Camille Hobby as well. Yeah. But uh, Duke threatening to put an end to that. 2.22 still left to go. Oliver double coming. Gets it back to Taylor. Just tremendous poise and vision. Balagoon. Got it. James. She's just got a knack for scoring. Good ball handlers for the Blue Devils. They've been able to handle the pressure. Well, they space the floor really well. Yep. Final minute and a half. Oliver the kick out, Taylor three. 21 points for Celeste Taylor tonight. Her third triple. Boyd drives the lane. And an offensive foul called on Jada. Taylor taking the charge, doing it at both ends for the Blue Devils. Wow, that's a tough one. Referee the defense. Did she obtain legal? Did Jada Boyd dip her shoulder? I don't think so. Big hand for Celeste Taylor, who checks out for Duke. As they are closing in on a 14-3 record and a tie for first place with North Carolina looming. Could be a spectacular crowd and environment here on Sunday at Cameron. And the Blue Devils look to get the sweep on the season of NC State. And they look to avenge a loss earlier this year to North Carolina. You got to, you have to have depth to make a run in the ACC tournament. Duke has that. You got to be able to play some really good defense. They have that. They play at a slower tempo. They've got enough guard play to be able to execute when the game shortens and slows down. This could be a second weekend team in the NCAA yes, tournament for sure. Yep. Absolutely. 23 in the win against State in December. 21 more tonight. Real difference maker. The new reveal out tonight from the NCAA Selection Committee has the Blue Devils as the overall 11 seed, which would make them a three seed with Stanford, Maryland, and Villanova, the other top seeds in Seattle. Remember, it's a new setup this year for the regionals, only two locations. There will be two brackets in Seattle, two brackets in Greenville, South Carolina. Nice hand for Day Wilson coming off. You gotta have guards, and you gotta have a lot of them, and Duke does. NC State will drop to eight and nine in the league. They'll need a win over Pittsburgh to grab the eighth seed over Syracuse. The Orange closed out their regular season with a win tonight.
Impressive showing for the Blue Devils. And it will, the ACC regular season race come down to Sunday. As it should yep. in a league with incredible parity and balance. Carolina at Duke and Notre Dame at Louisville to decide it. 77-62, the final, the first season sweep of NC State in 13 years. Celeste Taylor with 21, Elizabeth Balagoon with 16. There are your updated ACC.